Good morning. Welcome back. We're in 1 Samuel 20, verses 10 through 16. Then David said to Jonathan, Who will tell me, or what if your father answers you roughly? And Jonathan said to David, Come, let us go out into the field. So both of them went out into the field. Then Jonathan said to David, The Lord God of Israel is my witness. When I have sounded out my father sometime tomorrow or the third day, and indeed there is good toward David, and I do not send you and tell you, May the Lord do so much and more to Jonathan. But if it pleases my father to do you evil, then I will report it to you and send you away, that you may go in safety. And the Lord be with you as he has been with my father. And you shall not only show me the kindness of the Lord while I still live, that I may not die, but you shall not cut off your kindness from my house forever. No, not when the Lord has cut off every one of the enemies of David from the face of the earth. So Jonathan made a covenant with the house of David, saying, Let the Lord require it at the hand of David's enemies. So again, this is part of a conversation. We're taking over a couple of mornings because of the length of the text. Uh, Jonathan and David are in the field. Saul's been uh, relentlessly against David, and they're working out a plan here to find out where Saul stands ultimately. And so David can either uh, have some, some resolution on this, or be sent away, go away where he can uh, can live and not have Saul throwing spears at him all the time. So there's an agreement they make here, and Jonathan exacts this agreement from David. It's not hard to exact. David and Jonathan are very good friends. And he says, you know, make sure that you, I'll, I'll let you know what's going on, whether my father answers roughly or whether he answers with an answer of peace. But I'll tell you what he says to David, promise me that you will not harm my, you know, my descendants and uh, David is glad to do that. So we'll, we'll carry on and get to the end of this here uh, tomorrow morning. But you know what? This is a beautiful friendship. Two people, they want to be right with God. They want to be right with each other. There's nothing weird, by the way, about this friendship, although some might say it. Uh, this is just, just two people who love the Lord, and they respect each other. They're, they're fierce warriors of God in a time when it was needful for there to be uh, very fierce warriors for God. And so what he says is, uh, no, of course he won't cut him off. There's a covenant, a covenant with the house of David. I appreciate Jonathan here making this agreement, this covenant, strengthening this covenant with David. He seems to have an understanding that, you know, David's going to ultimately be king. And I'm sure there's some very interesting conversations between Jonathan and David because God had, of course, arranged that he had he'd left Saul and he had approached David and, and David had already been anointed to be king. I, I, I don't think J David kept that from Jonathan. I think they both knew quite a lot about it. So it's interesting to see Jonathan is not like, hey, you know, but I should be king. You know, I'm the heir apparent. Uh, Jonathan doesn't worry about that. And David David's just accepting it and Jonathan's just accepting it. And these are not men who are seeking power. These are people who are just trying to be right in the world. We don't need to seek power. What we need to do in our lives is we need to be right in this world. We need to be right with God and right with our fellow man as much as we can. Yes, there will be agencies uh, against us because we pro profess Jesus. That's okay. We know it's part of the, the lay of the land. It's just part of the way it is. Satan will not rest while we seek to serve Jesus. But you know what? Just serve Jesus and all these things will work themselves out ultimately in the end. We can be in, in harmony with each other. We can be men of peace, even though we're men of war, just as David and Jonathan are men of war, but they're also men of peace. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for the spirit of Jonathan and David as they are sorting out this problem. Uh, David's life has been in danger so many times, and yet, Lord, you have delivered him throughout every time. Now, Lord, we, we just look at this uh, connection they have and we want that with our friends also, a close friendships here on earth in a world that's filled with loneliness and disconnection and distrust. Lord, help us to interact with fellow believers, fellow seekers for your kingdom. And may we strengthen each other as Jonathan and David strengthen each other. May we be your warriors and be strengthened by your other warriors. And yet may we also be your men of peace and be strengthened also by your men of peace so that our hearts are shaped more like Jesus. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. God be with you today in all that you're doing.